Okay, so uh, I got most of the hole uh, excavated now. And uh, as you see, I'm down in the hole. We had to kind of change our game plan. As you can see, it's all gravel. Uh, like bank run gravel does not hold the slope very well or pretty much anything it just keeps collapsing down which is no good for what we're trying to do so I had to get down in here to really clean everything up and uh, so what we're doing is this stuff is actually so good um, normally fill the footings in the inside with stone but there is nothing but gravel for days here so we're actually going to use this stuff so I figured might as well get it in now rather than one the walls are up and then I got to do a lot more handwork. So I am excavating for the footing and the floor at the same time and I'll show you how I do that. With the system, so it's everything's off that same benchmark up on that tree. You can see my laser in the tree up there. So I benchmarked that. Before I drove into the hole and uh, I know my footing, bottom of footing is 104 inches down from that benchmark. So that's plugged in there. scan so look my laser is way up there I just scanned so as you can see I was off see so that's the only time you can get messed up it's if you don't scan and I just showed you that <laughs> So I have, I know my floor is at 94. So see, I just hit the button. I have zero plugged in. I always keep that in. But for this, I got 104, hit it again, 94. It's easy as that. And now I'm at the floor height. So it's that easy between to go between a couple different grades, which is really sweet. system so useful I mean I literally haven't gotten still haven't gotten out of the machine so now I'm back in here 
So there you go. Now I'm back to doing the footing. So I mean, if you're an excavation guy, this is a huge time saver. So there you go. I'll give you a shot uh, what this looks like when it's done, but that's about it.